Hello everyone, welcome to another Easy Excel tutorial. Uh, I wish you all a very happy new year. Uh, this is my first 2015 tutorial. I haven't done a tutorial in a few months. Uh, it gets tough doing them on time. Uh, but anyway, today I want to show you four different functions that you can use in Excel. These are extremely easy functions. Uh, very easy to learn, very easy to remember. Uh, these functions are len, left, right, and bin. Uh, len is short for length. All it does is count the number of characters in a text field. And we will count the number of characters in these six words that I set up. Uh, left, right, and mid are functions that extract data, extract text from a field. Uh, left, some of these are pretty self explanatory. Like left, uh, you'll specify a word and it will extract uh, a set number of characters that you specify. Right does the same thing, except it does it from the right. So here it will start from Y, H, P, and then go backwards. <clears throat> and mid is cool because it lets you specify which characters to start with, which number, which character position to start with, and which character position to end, or how many characters to count, rather. These are all easy to remember. Um, as you know, to start any formula, you start with the equal sign, but today let's go a different route. So under the auto sum, next to the auto sum, function click on the drop down arrow and click on more function uh, everything you're looking for will be listed here to select a function since I've used len recently just to test stuff out it's over here if you don't know where to look under the drop down list you can click on you can search what you're looking for and click on go and for len it gives you a little brief description of what it does len text returns the number of characters in a text and it gives you the syntax of it so it's len and in parentheses you enter the text in our case, we're going to enter uh, the cell number, the which is A3 in this case. And you see it gives you a little preview here. It says 11, so you don't even have to press OK or press Enter just to get an idea of what it looks like. So the formula result, it goes to 11. And it gives you another description. It says, is the text whose length you want to find? Spaces count as characters. So, so the surprise here is ruined. So New York, Atlantic Ocean, Happy New Year. These will all have extra characters because of the spaces. Spaces count. There you go, 11. Easy, right? So the formula is just len and then the and then the value and then the text. Let's do it one more time, but this time let's type it in. So len. It gives you the preview here. So if you just press tab, it takes you into that formula and it gives you what you need. Text. So click on astronomy or any word and it gives you 9. We can do the same for the rest of them, but remember the auto sum function. The autofill function, excuse me. There you go. Happy New Year. There's 12 letters, but there are two extra spaces and an exclamation point. So it counts all of it. So now let's look at left. Left is a little bit more complex than len because it has an extra parameter, but it's just as easy. Let's do it the same way, just so you learn how to search for functions. Left. It says left returns the specified number of characters from the start of the text string. And here the preview, you see it says left, text, comma, num characters. Let's press OK. So the text, which text are we looking at? We're looking at photography, right? And the number of characters, see the formula result, it starts at P. So the number of characters is a number that you want to put. Uh, cases where you'd want to use left is, for example, if you want to take data from an Excel table and create, let's say, database tables. You can't use, you know, 30 characters. You may, it, you need a naming convention. Like, let's say you want to use the first three characters or the four characters. In our case, we'll use the first three characters. And once I enter three, as you can see, it says it right here, "fo," "fo" from photography. And the formula result is "fo." So let's try that. So "fo." So now if I and this is the formula right here. Let me expand it a little bit so you can see the whole thing in here zoomed in. So left A3, comma 3. Pretty cool, right? So now let's um, autofill. Remember, you can just double click and you get asked, ano, new, adult, hap. Let's do the same thing for right. It's the exact same thing. So right. It says it returns the specified number of characters from the end of a text. So in this case, it'll start at Y, and it'll count backwards. It's the exact same logic as left, but reversed, in the sense that you start from the back. 
So right, this is the formula. So the text we're looking again is photography. And the number of characters, as you can see here, it says it starts at Y. So let's say we want to go back four, right? Four characters. And the result will be A P H Y Affy. Right. There you go, Affy. This is the formula. There you go, right? A3, which is the value, and then the number of characters. And here you can see write text and num characters. If you just want to type it in, if you don't want to go through the formula. We won't auto fail yet. Let's do mid. I'll expand this early. Mid is even more special. Returns the number of characters in the middle of a text string given a starting position and length. And this one has three parameters. So it's mid text, we're gonna, which is going to be photography, start number. So you can specify anything from you know, 1 to, I guess, 11. And then the number of characters, which is how many characters you want it to extract. So see, it has three parameters. So we're looking at text photography, start position. Uh, let's say we want to go start at the fifth position, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is going to start at 0. Oh, so 5, right? And let's look at how many characters we want. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's do Ogre, right? 4. There you go. See the preview, it says OGRA. It starts at number 5 and it counts to 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Ogre. If I do the same thing here, mid, astronomy, start characters, right? 5, comma, 4. So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It'll start at O again, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. So it'll be ONOM. O N O M. There you go, ONOM. Right? Easy, right? These are very logical. Um, this is can be a prefix of something, this can be a suffix, and this is, you know, whatever, whatever you want. So let's just autofill down. There we go. Yorkshire ear with an exclamation part exclamation mark because remember it counts every character not just not just letters uh... for an example here in astronomy so if i add three more spaces look what happens to these see it added twelve because i added three more spaces the easy excel here the the right the right column the y it starts at y this, because this is the 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 fourth character from the right, so it cast three spaces. There are three spaces. If I add one more space here, at the end, the Y will disappear completely because the four characters are spaces and thirteen is the length now. It counts everything. Uh, well, there you go. There's len, left, right, and mid. These are very easy, right? These are good. Um, if you have any questions on any of these, you know, feel free to ask. Um, see, this one looks a little bit weird because it starts at four and then there's a space and then it goes to NE. Yeah, but you know, it's it's the same. It's it's very easy. These are all very easy. You know, that's part of the easy Excel tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, if I was unclear on anything, let me know. If you want to see see specific tutorials, please let me know what you want to see. I'll try my best to do them. Remember to visit my website at easyprogramming.net and remember to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year.